Okay, so right now someone is asking a question that I should have answered before, but how to set up the rules so you have some tiered discount, tiered pricing, I would say. If the customer buys one, he gets five half, two, he gets 10% half, three, he gets 15, and so on. So actually the rule is exactly written by team T and B right there in our Slack team that we use for premium support. By the way, you can join it. Uh, okay, so this is what he did. So basically, you see there that I'll show you guys how to put the right stuff in those fields. So uh, let's go in a virgin install of the plugin. So the first section, I mean, you see it's to generate link. What interests us right now is to um, use the second section. And you have here some example, but I'll skip to the, to the meat right now and I'll add a rule. Basically, you cannot add like buy one here if you don't have already a coupon that is created because what the app does is it automatically uh, automatically sorry applies a discount that actually exists so what i need to do first is to create all the discounts that i want so i'm going to create five off and i'm going to create five percent off on all orders and i click save then so on i mean i need to create as well 10 percent off i could also specify a collection or a product or a customer group for now i'll let it like this because i want to skip right now to show you how it works and i'm gonna also create a 15% off so we're gonna have three tiers and I mean you can do your tier pricing with this I'm gonna call it 10 off 15 off sorry <clears throat> and I'm gonna go back to my apps and I really need to put exactly the same coupon code otherwise it won't work you could make it clearer uh, but I mean this will be enough for now the reason why we added two add rule buttons is because there's a reminder here and you definitely have to read this only one rule per order is apply and the rest is ignore so that means if you have multiple rules, put the most important one at top. In your case, the bigger discount, I mean, in most of the case, the bigger discount, the biggest, sorry, discount should be put at top because our app will just apply one rule and when it checks for other rules, it checks for other rules that are bigger, I would say. So for bigger discounts, and as soon as this discount is applied and it's the biggest rule, the rule at the top, no matter what happened, it will be applied. <clears throat> so here I'm going to put 10 off and 5 off. So this way I have my three tiered pricing to reflect what you wanted, which is 5 off, 10, 2, oh sorry. Okay, so five off three attempt. Sorry, I made a mistake, but I mean, you got, you would understand the principle. And instead of amount bigger here, you will select the number of items will be more or equal to. You could also select the same item will be more or less to. So for example, if you buy two t-shirts, the same exact t-shirt, you get one for free or you get 15% off on the other one. So this way you put your discount code there, you put 
the number of items will be more than and you put the value so for example here will be one here two three so if you buy one you get five percent off if you buy two you get ten percent off if you buy three you get fifteen percent off I know it's not exactly <laughs> what you just said here but I mean I'm a bit dyslexic so pardon me and you make sure to save those and that's it if you add another rule that is lower you put it there if you add another rule that is higher for example I don't make this because I didn't create the discount so it won't work but <clears throat> if I did let's say I did I would put 20 off and if you buy four you get 20 off and then I save and then that's it here you can enable or not the notification bar we might change the name because it's not really a notification bar it just shows when it triggers the discount to tell the customer that congratulations a discount was applied to your order it's really thin at the bottom of the screen actually it helps us to make a bit uh, the customer uh, uh, I mean to make the customer know that something happened so uh, but you can also disable because I mean the reason why we didn't put a lot of emphasis on this part is because most of the store already use uh, announcement bar hello bar whatever you call it a, a, a bar at the top that says that the promotion that is actually currently running so basically that's it you should be able to uh, make it happen in this specific order